Now this is a short tutorial to show you how to eliminate these pizza wheel marks from your prints. Can you see we've got a little pair of indentations up our uh, up our print here, which which is is quite annoying. Now those little pizza wheel marks we call them, they are little uh, they're little pin pricks, which um, they, they they come from the wheels down in the bottom of our printer, down the bottom here. Now, can you see this is a typical uh, inkjet printer with these with these little these little rollers here. Now the rollers are sprung loaded, and the paper comes through, and uh, in order to support the paper as it comes out of the printer. These actually put a little bit of pressure down onto the top of the paper to ensure that the paper can sort of push out uh, out the exit of the printer there. Now, we've already marked on there. Can you see that little mark? We've marked which is the offending wheel, which is the problem. Now, the reason that this is, these little wheels are causing the mark is either side... There's a little, it looks like a steel axle on one side and a steel axle on the other side. But in actual fact, that is a spring. So what you need to do is you need to get some magic bullet cleaner. Now this fluid actually get the, it actually dissolves the dried ink that is formed on either side of of the the wheel now that is actually supposed to be a spring on either side if you can see there where my screwdriver is on that side and that side if you can see the little dots here now these dots indicate over sprayed ink that that sprayed over the top of this but it's also got into the side either side if you can see that so what we need to do is get a little a little bit of um magic bullet now this comes with a kit you get the syringe and the little tubing and what you do is you just put a little bit of a little droplet here on one side just pushing down on the and a little droplet on the other side like so so we've just soaked either side now what we do we push a, a, a pretty thick piece of cardboard. Can you see that the the wheel comes up and down? Can you see that? Now what we've done, let's try and get closer and closer and we're pushing this card in and out, in and out and the actual the actual wheel is going up and down by a good couple of millimetres and the thickness of the card um, it, it, it determines it so it wants to be a nice thick card now I'm going to push that up and down a good few times at least a dozen times and then what I'm going to do I'm going to withdraw it and I'm going to put a second application of magic bullet cleaner on either side to be absolutely certain that I've soaked and I've freed up the spring can you see that either side now, I wouldn't bother doing the other springs that are not causing you any problems. So it's, it's quite important for you to just concentrate on the, on the roller that's causing you the problem. And I do that another about a, about a dozen times. And before we stop this, let's actually show you the thickness of the card that I'm using. Now, can you see this card that I'm using? It is quite thick. Uh, so... As, as thick as you can get pretty well. I, I, that, to me, is around just over two millimetres thick. And then you can allow this to dry. And then once the area around here is dry, you can test out your, your printing. And uh, what will happen is the spring will... It, 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 it starts to behave like a spring again. And this will raise up in the normal way and you won't get a repetition of your pizza wheel uh, of, of your, your pizza wheel uh, uh, um, 
let me, let me just show you where is it there they are can you see those little pizza wheel which is quite irritating when you know that they're going to appear on every one of your every one of your prints so that's a very nice easy method of eliminating this problem thank you very much for watching